everybody, I'm Chris Blakeman, and today we're taking a look at the new M7 Continental Janome sewing machine. If you look at this machine, it's actually a 14-inch throat space, a brand new model from Janome. Janome's been around for almost 100 years now, and they're notorious for making a really nice quilting machine uh, with bigger throat spaces, faster speeds. Now we have updated technology with a QR code in the lower right-hand corner of the touchscreen where we can actually scan something that we're doing uh, so that we get a, a response to the phone on the app that goes with the machine, uh, making it a lot smarter and a lot easier to do our sewing. Um, and that's always a good thing. Everything on the front of the screen is very user friendly. We can see the different stitches. We can do different categories here, kind of like the other models. Uh, and of course, this machine is rich with a lot of different stitches. Um, but what I'd like to do today is go ahead and put this machine to the test. So let's take a look real quick at just some of these things that this machine comes with. Oop, dropped a bobbin, I'll have to pick up that bobbin. We've got a zipper foot, uh, narrow zipper foot, buttonhole foot, a couple of different large spool caps, of course. Uh, the standard F foot for satin stitching. A uh, little needle pack there with a the twin needle. Hump jumper if we're gonna do some denim seams. Uh, we also have the micro spool cap, and you can see this actually has a vertical spool pin delivery, much like um, a commercial machine set. So we can do big cones on this machine. If you've got those quilting cones and quilting thread, we can go ahead and put those on there. And then also put a micro school cap on there if we've got a you know, smaller cone or something like that. We want to hold that down in place. It actually fits right inside of there or just right on top just to keep the spool in place. We also have a blind hemming foot with the guide and the cutout uh, so we can get a nice little bite when we're doing a blind hem and hide that seam. Uh, several different types of free motion feet. We have an open toe free motion foot and a closed toe free motion foot along with a stylus for this touch screen here, making it easier to precisely touch which kind of stitch we want to use. And then we have some little cone holders here for uh, those larger cones as well so they don't rattle around on us and jump around. Um, we also have an echo quilting foot attachment here, different guides so that we can go ahead and follow some applique or follow some different embellishments and get that echo quilting effect. Uh, so that's really nice too. And then we also have um, something here I like to use for couching. We can actually put fibers through this little foot. You can see this little hole here. You pull the fiber down through the top and then couch the uh, yarn or material down. So we actually have some fun little feet here. Uh, and then some different spool caps for the smaller, more narrow spools like your Guterman spools, uh, Mettler spools and things like that, like Metrazine, uh, so that we can go ahead and hold those spools down as well. Also got a cleaning brush, of course, seam ripper. This is the M overcasting foot. Uh, this is a very special Janome foot that actually has chaining tongues built into the foot. So we get a very nice overlocking stitch, which is amazing for knit fabrics. Really good for garment sewing. If you want a finished seam that's reinforced so that you can go ahead, wash that garment over time and get lots of use out of it. And of course this beautiful nine millimeter quilting foot these machines actually take a nine millimeter foot and so this is going to go ahead and cover the full base of the feed system with the fence on the right hand side so that we can get a nice perfect quarter inch seam um, with this Janome machine uh, and we can see that these feet are actually polished with a chrome finish so that the material glides through very seamlessly uh, so a lot of attachments here we also have a high performance straight stitch foot for high speed sewing um, so if you're doing maybe some production work or garment sewing this machine actually comes with this foot and it screws into the side of the shank here and there's actually a special needle plate that we use with this high performance straight stitch foot um, we also have several more decorative attachments here open toe attachments for decorative stitching rolled hemming attachments quarter inch foot without a guide. Maybe in case you want to do a scant quarter inch or get that kind of off uh, off the material a little bit, there's no fence to get in the way. There's also an invisible zipper foot that comes with the machine for attaching invisible zippers and the ruler work foot. We actually get a ruler work foot for doing free motion quilting and butting a ruler right up to the foot, um, which is amazing there. And then an open toe foot here as well uh, to kind of join that collection, so quite a bit of attachments. I would say the total amount of attachments that's coming with this machine's got to be hundreds of dollars in attachments that just comes with the machine, so that's amazing. Uh, Janome really hooks it up with a lot of stuff. Um, now, if it's all right with my camera person, I'm going to show you guys something really fun. We're going to put let's this... Let's go. All right, let's do You're it. You're going to share this video with me, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I will, yeah, I will. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to test the machine. We're going to see just how good this new uh, Janome machine is. It's an all-metal chassis, we can tell. This is actually a metal uh, steel chassis. Very common design with Janome machines. Uh, High-speed machine. Um, this machine's over 1,600 stitches a minute. 
Um, we're going to snap our foot on. It's always nice to have snap on feet. We're going to line it up with the needle plate on the bottom. Um, and actually, now this machine just has a handy dandy press your foot down button and it just clicks right into place. Isn't that nice? Wow. Isn't that great? So let's go ahead and see um, just how good this machine is. Genomi machines are known for having a rotary hook system and you can see that the upper thread passes around the bobbin case each time the machine takes a stitch and pulls it around. Um, and it's kind of, I'll go a little bit slower uh, just so we can see, but it, it's hard to see red on red, but that's a red thread right there. That's the top thread passing around the bobbin case to go ahead and make a stitch complete. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of this thread out here So we got, you know, a little bit of thread from the top. And then we have this nice razor knife threader on the side. And by the way, this actually has an automatic needle threader. Uh, to thread the needle, all we do is just pop this down and it just threaded. And that was it. Isn't that nice? Yeah. That's beautiful. That's amazing. I'm going to take some of this thread and we're going to pack it inside of this case right here. And let's see how great this new machine is. Let's really put it to the test, right? That looks pretty bad, right? Looks pretty... It's a bad time. Maybe jam up the machine. See all that thread sticking out of there? This is a problem normally. So Janome uses a special feed system called a box feed system. The feed teeth actually, um, instead of moving in a circular motion like most sewing machines when it moves material along, it actually comes straight up into the material, shifts it, and goes straight down. It actually makes a box shape when it moves the material along. And so that makes it so we can actually sew really thick materials um, and even the lighter materials, things like lycra, knits, double knits, stretchy fabrics, and things like that, and get a really perfect stitch quality um, without sacrificing, uh, you know, the movement of the material um, with those lower quality feed systems. So we're going to go ahead and fire this up. And we're going to take this material, I'm going to fold this over. This is just some cotton. we got two layers of cotton right here. So I'm going to fold that over onto itself. So we've got two, four, six layers of cotton. And then fold that over on itself too. So we've got eight layers of cotton. Okay, and then we're going to stop and see here. And look at that, it lifts the foot automatically so I can pivot the material uh, and start to sew again. So now we've got two, four, six, double this over. So we got 12 layers of cotton. Um, and let's see what happens here. Looks like we've got 12 layers of cotton, no problem. I'm going to turn this over here. I've got two, four layers there. So we're going to go up to 16. And let's see about that. Now, Janome's use a uh, DC. Hey, remember that thread I put in there? Look at that. Just stitched it right out. So guess what? We're on our thread trimmer right here. It cuts the threads automatically, lifts the foot. Clean bobbin area. Yeah. Okay. Other machines gonna jam up. Gonna have a bad problem. You're gonna come see me in the shop, right? And we don't want that. <laughs> we want to sew and be happy. So. Uh, Janome machines have um, commonly what's called a DC motor system, which is a direct current motor system. Most machines have an AC motor system, which is an alternating current system. So you can see here where we stitch these 16 layers of material, very thick, very dense material. Most machines with an alternating current, when you sew slow, you press that foot pedal down, you're going to get 5 volts, 10 volts, 15 volts at a time. Okay, with the direct current motor system, this machine is drawing just as much electricity standing still, not moving at all as it would at a full speed. So when we sew very slow over really thick materials, what that means is we're going to get a constant piercing power. So I'm going to turn my speed down all the way. We have very slow speed and we're going to run that machine. And look at that. At the slowest speed, it's going to go ahead and penetrate all 16 layers and not stall out at all. Okay, so with a lot of machines, that's a problem. So with this new machine, it looks like that DC motor system is doing a great job. Even at the slowest possible speed, we can sew through 16 layers. Um, you know, most machines are not going to do that. They're going to hit that material and just stop right away. So I'm, I'm impressed uh, by that. So let's go ahead and run some full speed decorative stitching. And we can see all those layers of material that we stitched through. So that's pretty impressive so far. Um, let's just go ahead and pick one of these decorative 9 millimeter stitches. So we'll go to pictograph. Those are always fun. It's like a novelty stitch. And we're gonna go ahead and, what do we got? We got a sheep, we got some cats. Spool of thread, let's do the spool of thread, right?
super quiet machine. And of course we have a pattern end command to just press that button. It ties off. And let's take a look at the stitch. It's looking really good. It's a fun stitch. Came out really nice. Both sides. Uh, so yeah, I'm impressed. I think this is a really nice machine. Um, really like the big throat space. And of course we've also got this feature now. Um, I believe we can go ahead and just pop this needle plate off. And look at this big table that comes with it too. Uh, tables like this usually are going to run around $100, $150 at least. Um, sometimes they're $300 when you get into these bigger ones like this. Uh, so we've got a really big table here. Um, and then when it comes to the needle plate here... It's a, it's a, it's a button. It's oh, it's touch automatic it's now. Yeah. And you touch. Yeah, touch. Oh, Look at that! Yeah. Wow! <laughs> Things just get easier all the time. <laughs> oh, great. So now we can just go ahead and line that up. Oh, it's magnetized. So it just, wow, let's do that again. So you take this, you press the button. You have your, your needle plate button. Let's put our table back on. We're going to unlock it, right? Press this here. Ooh, look at that. It just, just comes up right off like that that's awesome and you can see all the metal parts on the inside of the machine this is a rotary hook machine so it goes all the way around when it takes the thread and uh, and there's a magnet in the bottom of this right here to catch broken needle tips or pins and things like that to protect the machine all metal chassis metal parts um, these machines have a 20-year warranty to protect you from factory defects um, so it's, it's great What's that? The where the is located. So there's actually a sensor here and here uh, to sense the bobbin thread okay. and see how much bobbin thread's in your bobbin. So we're gonna know when we run out of bobbin thread. It's pretty good, yeah. right? Um, and actually the bobbin case has a slot going through the side and then out the other side for that. So it looks right through it. Uh, so we can see um, when we run out of bobbin thread. So that's pretty nice. It's a good feature. Uh, previously in some models, uh, there was actually a mechanical finger that would sense how much thread was on the bobbin that would come over and touch it. And now it's electronic as the optical eye. So that's pretty cool. So now we're upgraded to a digital uh, sensor for the bobbin thread. Um, and then when we put this back on because it's magnetized right there, we're going to line up these two little guys there and it just pops right back on and we're good to go. Less pressure, less pressing on the plate. That's really nice. Uh, and then of course you got that QR code too, which is pretty cool. So, there we go. The key. Key to the screen. And so then when we're ready to thread it, we just drop it in and it goes right under that little lip right there, all the way around. So let's try one more thing. I want to try one more thing with the machine. We're going to take our thread here again. And we got this nice uh, Robeson Anton thread they've got in these machines to test them out with. Seems like it's like a polyester thread. Uh, something pretty nice. So we're just going to take the thread and we're going to go to our zigzag. The feed teeth on these machines are stamped with three to four times as many feed teeth as a standard sewing machine. Um, so it really allows for more, um, more grip on the fabric or the ability to pull the material through a lot more accurately. So we're just going to go to a zigzag. We're going to improve that zigzag. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and fire this up here. The automatic features are really nice. You just press the foot pedal and it just runs that pressure foot right down. And this feed system is amazing. I mean, it's just pulling the thread right through. That's amazing. Most machines just jam. Check this out. I let go of my thread, so kind of broke my. But that just uh, corded me. that right up. Yeah. <laughs> so what we'll do now, uh, we're gonna actually take this cord and then take a look at the. Uh, so does the thread stay in and come with it? There should be a uh, buttonhole foot. Where'd my buttonhole foot go? Let's see. Aha! <laughs> it's hanging out. All right, guys, so we're going to take this buttonhole foot and uh, we're going to re-thread the machine. This is a really easy machine to thread, by the way. 
Uh, it's all numbered, and there's actually this really big diagram up here for threading. Um, so we can just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then this needle threader is so easy. It's threaded. Very fast and easy. So if you're doing color changes, you have different colors of threads and things like that, it makes it a lot simpler. So let's just take a quick look here. We're gonna take our buttonhole foot. Normally we'd have a button here that would go inside of this uh, little jig. Um, and then this is actually for some finer fabrics. You can pinch the fabric together. I'm gonna take the cording, it actually has this little slot up here and then little teeth on the bottom so Janome actually builds their feet for this which is pretty fun something fun you can do you, you know with buttonholes you can go ahead and you can sew, um, sew a buttonhole and weave ribbon through it you can put cords through to do a drawstring bag um, things like that so let's go ahead and pop this guy on and with the snap-on feet, it sure makes it easy to change those feet out. Um, yeah, so let's see. Let's see what we've got here for buttonhole, buttonhole stitches. I just want to make sure my, uh, my machine's set up the right way here. There we go. Okay. So the buttonhole menu is going to be here, and there's actually a button sewing stitch. We do eyelets, we can make little eyelets, there's actually three different, four, five different eyelets. So you can do eyelets, um, and then we've got our standard buttonholes, keyhole style buttonholes, um, the zigzag buttonholes for more of like leather, or like this stuff where you don't want the stitches so close together, those kinds of materials. We're just going to do a standard buttonhole stitch. Um, and so we'll go ahead and pull down our sensor here, we've got our buttonhole sensor. And let's see what it looks like. And it is such a quiet machine. I mean, this is no clunkiness, no loud noises or anything. Just a smooth running, quiet machine. And the stitch looks good. Let's take a look. All right, so that buttonhole came out pretty nice. So we'll go ahead and uh, take a little seam ripper here and just open this guy up. But we can see here that it made a nice thick buttonhole. Uh, the stitch on the back is finished very nicely. Um, and that stands up really nice. You know, it washes over time. You can clean these, these tails up and uh, fray check them on either side. Uh, so that they're nice and secured um, and then this the button that would have been in the back there would uh, fit exactly into that buttonhole exactly that size so we'll just uh, cut that open just to see the quality of the buttonhole that this machine made and of course buttonholes are great for your garments and you know if you do crafting projects or you want to hang something um, that's great that really came out nice let's go ahead yeah. So the decorative stitches look great. Uh, the buttonholes are coming out really nice. The machine can stitch through really thick materials. Um, the last thing I'm going to check out here is just the free motion foot. And let's see how that operates. We're going to take this off. Really impressive machine. Got a little free motion foot. This comes with the machine too. This machine comes with a ton of attachments. Bunch of attachments. Tighten that up. And I think to drop the feed system, everything's automatic on this machine now, it seems like. So it looks like we have a button right here that just automatically uh, mm -hmm. drops the feed teeth. Or that's for the dual feed. <laughs> ah, there we go. So now it's dropped the feed system. Let's take a look. Let's see, um, I'm just gonna scoot up to the machine here. 
get my hands on it. Grab both sides. Here. And remember, all those layers that we doubled up and doubled up and is doing a great job. It's just no problem. So we're going to go to a uh, zigzag and then we'll try this out here. Do a little B for Blakeman. There we go. All right. So with a high-speed machine like this, uh, it's really easy to move the material around. Um, if we had an actual quilt sandwich here, we'd probably be able to really, you know, sew at speed and, and do some different stitching. So give us a call at 970-619-8558. You can email us at info at blakemansovac.com. The M7 Continental. Um, Your staff already has it. Say hi to Chris. Hi, Christopher Thomas. How are ya? <laughs> yeah. All right. Because I'll just cut it. Too. All right, everybody. I'm Chris Blakeman, and this is the new M7 Continental, a uh, new Janome machine with the 13.5. Five at center needle, seven point seven. Hi, everybody. Thirteen point seven. I'm 13, the other Chris's mom. Thirteen point seven inch throat space. So we got a big, big throat space here. Nice color touch screen that's angled towards us so we can see a little bit more of what's going on, right? Four and a half inches this way. Four and a half inches off to the side. Mm -hmm. And so we have some brand new features on this machine, including a QR code, right? Uh, so that we can set our settings up and view. Can, can you scan that for us, Amy? Amy's mm -hmm. gonna scan it for us. So you actually scan the QR code. Wow, it picked it up really fast. And then it gives us the settings and tells us what to do. That's amazing. That's really fast. We can also lock the screen out for safety. So now I can't touch anything else on the screen. None of the buttons work. And we have these nice adjusting knobs. I actually like this a lot for precision adjustments for width and for length. We can press this button here. And look, our needle plate comes right off. And it's actually a magnetized needle plate. So we can put that back on and look at that. It's right back to where it was. And watch this. We actually can watch what happens when it comes up just like that. And then it'll just go right back down. Magnetized. Easy peasy, right? So no more getting your nail under there. No more really working your fingers, those joints, you know, trying to get that needle plate off of there. We just touch a button and our needle plate comes right off. So very nice system. The feed dogs have been improved. So we have many more feed teeth in a standard sewing machine. Okay, they've added more feed teeth which makes for better precision feed and this is a box feed system. So the feed teeth come straight up, shift the material and go straight down in a box shape. All right, so we've got some great, so really good quality feed system here. We can see, Amy pointed this out to me, the feed teeth are actually dropped below the needle plate. So when we go ahead and put fabric underneath here, it's not gonna be impeded by the feed teeth. We can take it, slide it underneath, and the teeth are not gripping the fabric. All right, so it makes it way easier to put bulkier things underneath there. So let's go ahead and drop in our bobbin, which is super easy to thread, just like that. And we're actually gonna put this to the test. Let's put this new machine to the test. Let's take our thread, just like this here, and we're gonna take our thread and cut that right there. And I'm gonna double this over, and hopefully the Janome people are okay with me doing this. We're gonna put a bunch of thread in that bobbin area here. Let's just jam it all in. We're gonna throw it in there, and look at that. Doesn't look so good, right? Looks like a problem. Most machines, that's gonna be bad news. Well, we're gonna go ahead and put our bobbin door on, and let's experience this machine. Let's see how it sews. 
Nope, it's but start stop button. Okay. You gotta unlock it. There we go. It is quiet. And fast. No problem. Do we have more fabric somewhere? I'll find you something. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and fold this up onto here. And look at that, see how the, the foot actually lifts on its own so that we can go ahead and pivot really easily. And you can see we can stitch through all those layers, no problem. Thanks. And here's a tissue you can, oh, there's oh, a yeah. tissue. And we got a tissue here, watch this. This is very interesting. We can flip that around. Now the nice thing about a DC motor system is that it's a direct current motor system. Most motor systems are alternating current or AC motor system. So as you press the foot pedal, the machine goes really slow and it only really gives you a little bit of juice at a time. And I'll illustrate that here. So in a DC motor system, there's always 110 volts coming in. So we can actually just press this and go really slow. But even at the slowest speed, I'll turn that speed governor down all the way, the needle still pierces multiple layers. And we're going through, you know, 10 or 12 layers here of cotton, and that needle is still hitting that and piercing right through at the slowest speed. Um, and this is really thick material, you guys, I'll show you. We've got, you know, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 layers of cotton here. Really thick cotton too, very robust. And it's just piercing right through that. Okay, so that's really nice. And look what happened. See all that thread, it's gone. The machine actually cleaned the bobbin area and put that thread right into the material. It's totally clean. And I'll show you. Do you know me machines? A little bit more jam proof than other machines out there. So even with thread in there, it cleans itself out so you don't have to take a trip to the repair shop. So better feed system, box feed, DC motor system, jam proof bobbin system. So let's go ahead and stitch on some of this fabric. Amy was nice enough to bring some more fabric over. We're gonna go ahead and stitch off of this. You can see we can sew at a higher speed and the machine performs really well. And this is really amazing. It's really good. And you can see we went right off all those layers of cotton right onto the uh, tissue paper. And we have a perfect stitch on tissue paper. And that's a single layer of tissue paper off of that cotton. Um, really a testament to that box feed system. Uh, the, the better quality feed teeth, they're stamped in such a good way in the factory. Uh, very impressive. And so that's really super impressive. Um, so let's go ahead and um, do we have another piece of fabric with some scissors maybe hanging out? So. We have no scissors. Okay. So we're going to do another thing here to kind of put this feed system to the test. We're going to take our thread. We're going to double it over. Okay. And then I'm going to pull this together here. We'll go ahead and we're going to switch this over to a zigzag. Um, and I'm going to make my width a little bit wider. We have this really nice knob here that we can go ahead and just precisely and make that wider. Right here and we have an actual preview. You can actually see what that zigzag is going to look like. And that feed system is so good, it's actually feeding thread through. It just pulls it right on through there. Pretty phenomenal. Very impressed. Most machines, if you try to sew thread, this is a problem. It's gonna jam, it's gonna have problems. This guy's just gonna put it right through. So this is pretty impressive. Now we can see, we can even stitch off with no fabric, and the machine does fine. And we've actually taken that thread and stitched it together.
So we made some cording. Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive feed system here. So now we can take this here, this cording, and there's so many things you can make uh, drawstrings, uh, embellishments, um, all of that stuff. And this machine has an amazing buttonhole foot. You can actually make a beautiful buttonhole with this machine. And so we'll take this one. And um, you can pinch the fabric between this, um, this device right here to help with a little bit more efficient buttonhole. But I'm gonna actually do a corded buttonhole with this cording we just made. So we'll open this up. Normally the button would go right inside of here. And we're gonna go ahead and attach our cording onto the buttonhole. Janome actually makes their buttonhole feet specially for this so that we can go ahead and tie this on, tie it into place, just like this here. And then these are all snap-on feet, which is really handy. So we'll just press the button, the foot comes off, and then we'll attach our other foot. And then we're gonna side this in. Oh, nice, all right. Even better. So now, we'll find a good spot here. Press foot down. And with this guy, we've got a lot of different options. And on a buttonhole, we're gonna do a square style buttonhole. Pull our sensor down that looks like a picture of a buttonhole. And then fire this up. And it is so quiet. Smooth running machine. Very precise. Runs a basting stitch or a straight stitch, and then it's gonna go ahead and bar tack where it ties off on the top of the buttonhole and automatically gives us a tight satin stitch down along the cording to make a really high quality buttonhole where it stands up um, you know, for a nice embellishment and also for some good wear and tear over time. You know, if we're gonna wash this regularly or something, it's, uh, it's gonna do really well. And look at that. It's a beautiful buttonhole. This machine does a very nice buttonhole. It's looking really good. It's always sewn in the same direction, so no more lopsided buttonholes. Very, very straight, very even. That's, that's a very precise machine. We have a precision sewing machine here at this. And now we also have our exclusive Janome AccuFeed system on this machine, where we have these really nice, fine uh, teeth on the top here that's gonna feed the material from the top and line up with the feed teeth on the bottom for even feed where it pulls the material along from top and bottom at the same time. So we'll go ahead here and uh, take our foot. So we're gonna go ahead and attach the AccuFeed foot and it goes right in where the shank goes from the back and we push up and that's gonna go ahead and attach the machine's linkage, the upper feed linkage to that foot. And wow, that actually connected. That's different. It's not It's not going to connect, Chris, until we activate it. Oh, it does it automatically. So what we have to do is go back to our straight stitch. We connect it here, and it's going to ask us to put the right foot on. It blocks out all those stitches that we can't do with this. This is great. Um, and now it's activated. That was automatic. That's really, that's a big improve. That's an improvement. And it's not going to flop out like it, we've had a little bit of issue with in the past. So now the, the foot goes on even easier and there's less steps for AccuFeed. So this is a big improvement. I mean, you can see with AccuFeed how that top feed system grabs that material from the top and pulls it along. So you're getting even feed from the top and the bottom. That's all mechanically linked together too. It's awesome. And we have a variety of quilt stitches we can use with this, like if we're stitching in the ditch. Um, if we're doing a hand look stitch, you could put invisible thread in the top and then also do a uh, heavy thread in the bottom. We have our tie-off stitches for automatic tie-off where the machine will actually take a few stitches forward and then lock the stitch by back stitching automatically. Uh, very precise. And right now it's back stitching. It's adjustments for it are right here at the end. And you can change how many tie-offs, right? Is that what? No, that's actually 
adjust the feed so if you've got two different kinds of fabrics together and maybe the bottom one's going a little faster it can adjust the top or if you've got a thick scrim on a on a batting it will actually adjust that so you're getting an exact even feed through all layers it's impressive a little automatic tie off and of course it's going to trim our thread for us automatically as well and we got our tie off right there the lighting on this machine is amazing too. All the lighting on the inside nine, of the throat. Nine LED lights. Nine LED lights all the way through. So that's very impressive. Um, pretty awesome. So the duck cloth, where'd that go? Here it is. Do you have a pair of scissors maybe? No, I have to steal a piece. Oh wait, I see some. <gasps> we have scissors. All right. So duck cloth is a pretty thick, dense material. It will and, go through um, 12 layers of that either. What we're going to do is go ahead and cut out a shape here. We're really going to push the satin stitch on this and see what kind of uh, result we're going to get with this new machine and put it to the test. So let's just take a simple shape here. Do a little heart for Amy because we love Amy because she's so bright. And so now we'll put this polka dot fabric down. <laughs> the other Chris's mom. We're going to line it up on, on center there. So we're on center. Let's go back to our home screen here. And uh, are we able to use the zigzag with sure. AccuFeed? Well, not, not currently. We, we aren't that. Okay. So let's go ahead and switch back over to our F foot. Let's go to our applique foot. So there we go. And then we're going to switch our foot over. We're going to tell the machine, hey, we're going to change our foot here. It will tell you your change. Oh, it'll know. Let's go ahead. Oh, we'll deactivate it is what we do. There we go. Okay. Here, hold and this up. machine comes with so many attachments. This, it comes with probably hundreds of dollars in presser feet. We have open toe hopping foot. Um, we have the uh, straight stitch high performance AccuFeed foot. Um, we're going to have our cones, our cone holders, so those cones, because this has a vertical spool pin delivery and, for big cones. And our vertical spool pin is slanted up slightly so that we have a little bit better thread feed. We have a quarter inch foot with a guide, uh, open toe hopping foot, echo quilting foot, closed toe foot, hopping foot. Um, the F foot is what I'm looking for. Rolled hem foot is a narrow rolled hem. There's a quarter inch quilting foot with no guide. If you want a scant quarter inch, you need to do some straight stitching without a um, without the guide. And this actually comes with the invisible zipper foot, which is really nice too. That's kind of fun. Um, and we have the M foot, a classic Janome foot for overcasting. This makes about the best overcasting stitch on a sewing machine, which goes great for making uh, seams on knit fabric or trico or like stretchier fabrics. This does a great job. Um, and then we have a blind hemming foot. Um, of course, we have a variety of spool caps, caps, a needle pack, your standard zipper foot, a couching attachment, uh, so we can sew yarn down. The straight stitch high performance foot that's non-dual feed. Um, if you just if you don't want feed from the top, maybe for like some velour or some leather, or fashion leather, where you don't want the teeth to mar that leather. Uh, this foot does a really nice job as well uh, for keeping that straight stitch and doing a high performance stitch. And of course, the ruler work foot for doing free motion ruler work is included with this machine. In some cases, this is actually like a fifty to ninety dollar foot that comes with the machine. Uh, this machine actually comes with hundreds of dollars in attachments here. And we get a button sewing foot for sewing buttons down. Phenomenal. So we really have a nice package of accessories here that's coming with the machine in this nice box where we can store everything, keep it organized. Um, and now we're really gonna push the quality here and t test our uh, satin stitching on the machine. I wanna see exactly what the satin stitch, how close together we can get to it. Um, it's difficult for a sewing machine to make a satin stitch below usually about a 0 0.2 length on a zigzag. So we're going to go a little bit wider. I'm going to make this about a four and a half and then we're going to shrink this down to a 0 0.2. And that's usually where we have difficulties. I'm going to go to a 0 0.15 uh, to really test this feed system here and let's see how this goes. And so it's really feeding the fabric. It's feeding this really thick stitch through. 
and I can already tell we're just gonna go up a notch with this duck cloth because we're really pushing it. And we're gonna make a fun little satin stitch uh, applique. And it is just making really close stitches together. And we can do a little auto pivot. That's where this feature really comes in handy is if we're sewing an applique stitch. We can pivot and be precise, sew the material down. And it's making a beautiful satin stitch for the applique. It's looking good. And those uh, really precise Janome feed systems, this gen precise Janome feed system makes it really easy to maneuver the fabric while creating this really dense stitch. It's really close together. I can turn, I can move with precision, a little auto pivot where I need to, to reposition. And we're gonna finish that up and come all the way around. Diana. And we really have a nice, uh, nice satin stitch there for that applique. Came out really nice. Obviously, I'm not the best at applique, but the machine really makes the stitch look good. <laughs> And so now we're going to go ahead and test the uh, speed of the free motion. We're going to put oh, our Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, toe. put your foot back on. Mm -hmm. Because this machine has snap-on, snap-off free motion feet. Oh, I'm excited. I am excited about these snap-on feet. Let's see. It's going to hook in your back. So let's pop this on. It cooks in the back and then snaps on. Would you please go, oops, snaps on the back. Ah, here we are. And All now right. if you'll go right here to sewing applications. Please go into quilting right here. These are all our standard. These would be all our utilities. Please go to quilting and go to free quilting. Right, nope, back here. Free motion, and then you're set up and ready to go. So the machine's just gonna pick the settings for us. Um, we're just gonna do a straight stitch free motion, and we'll do a little bit of stippling. And we can actually change our settings for needle up or down if we're gonna make pivots or adjustments, so it'll stop with actually, the needle. Our foot may be a little low for that, so all we have to do is go into adjustments and we're going to tell it we want to raise our foot a little bit. Oh, we can't have pivot on for that, so that's... Okay, let's try it now. Maybe I have to drop the feed dog. Uh, let's make sure feed dogs are down. Oh, wait, I may have the wrong... What foot does it tell? That's the wrong foot. I'm sorry, Chris. Right there we there. go. There's the right foot. And That's it'll tell us too. The screen will actually tell us which and foot it needs. Didn't look. Now we can. This is what's called like a hovering foot. Yeah. Make sure that that tie off is. Is that better, Chris? Oh yeah. Boy, and it moves really smooth.
we can run our thread trimmer. You see that stippling looks really good. And put like a little embellishment into that satin stitch as well, just for fun. And the stitching looks great on the back too. Um, and we could even go to a zigzag. Um, and let's just test this, make sure our needle is on the right side. I'm just going to narrow this in a little bit. Now, a little monogram so it really comes out nice I think we've really put this guy to the test and we've seen it so multiple layers it's not very it's not very easy to jam we can see the thread just came right out of that bobbin um, the buttonhole looks great our buttonhole looks uh, very nice uh, as well and these decorative stitches are amazing too so definitely give us a call, 970-619-8558. You can email us at info at blakemansovac.com for more information on the M7 Continental. Your staff already has it. Say hi to Chris. Hi, Christopher Thomas. How are you? <laughs>